So let's start uh, uh, just refreshing your memory what we did last time. And uh, here is... Uh, where we started originally. I'm yet to get used to this. I eliminated the output capacitor because, hey, if you have a big inductors here, they'll do all the filtering, so you get a DC voltage here. However, you get a negative polarity because you have, uh, as you remember, operation of the converter was such that we have a charging of capacitor this way. and which charges capacitor to have a positive DC voltage, which then allows when you turn this switch on that for the next part of the cycle, which is a discharging, this voltage, positive voltage get grounded, represents negative voltage across the diode and reverse bias is a diode. So this operates like a two switches in synchronism, right? And what I did last time, I said, oh, why do we need this inductor? Let's make it simpler because the converter has this function of this inductor here on input, this operates already like a boost converter. So it operates with a gain function one over one minus D. That follows with the output part, which is the step down part, which is operates like D. So the total function is D over one minus D. And what I showed last time, what we did is simply said, oh, why don't we do this and uh, eliminate eliminate this inductor and replace it with the transistor and AC inductor, they'll be simplified. So now if you do this, we, you, we lose this conversion function one over minus D. This is the boost type step up. It simplifies the converter to the extent that now the remaining two, two voltages when they are turned on and off, they have beautiful voltage stresses equal to input voltage, no higher than input voltage. As you know, uh, the boost converter increases the voltage much higher. So that was the first uh, operation. So it was only now operating as a D and doesn't have this one minus D and operates as a step, regular step down. However, this is when I introduced what I call the hybrid switching. This is not good enough because why? When you charge, when you turn the main switch on and you the, do the charging, and uh, let me do it this way, and you are doing charging, okay? What happens is uh, when you are discharging, you have uh, how to say operation, this capacitor is uh, discharging and therefore has, uh, I say, uh, it can be operated with this inductor as a PWM inductor, which is a big inductor. But we also found out that there is advantage that we don't, we want to, uh, in this, uh, when this is turned on, it's charging and then, uh, then there is a, uh, discharging and we want to turn this on here and why the resonant interval and discharging interval. So 
uh, that means now we will have ability to uh, get uh, both charge and discharge, but if it had no inductance here, this will be lossy, completely lossy, and I'll show that in a boost version. So let's save this, and uh, one thing we have uh, ability here is, uh, which I appreciate, uh, one of these options is a duplicate slide. So let me, let me try to remember what that was. <laughs> Design, uh, du duplicate selected slide. Voila, right? So now I save this uh, slide, but uh, okay. And I could uh, also add a new, uh, insert new as we said and uh, now <laughs> now i'm being uh, punished for for the doing the wrong things i should have just added the new blank slide so let let me do this uh, uh, insert uh, and add new slides and add this that's what i wanted so we can erase this uh, later so now i start back and then show you this other uh, important aspect of it how do we do, okay, uh, first of all, remember what I said before, how can we make this converter power bidirectional, all right? All we need to do is, uh, and if I have another color, I'll do it on this one. Any converter can be made in, a, I'll use a, my favorite, turquoise blue. If we replace this with the voltage source, negative, of course, negative, positive, this way, replace this diode in parallel with the MOSFET going this way in opposite direction because it's anti-parallel diode to the MOS, uh, no MOSFET, bipolar transistor going in opposite direction and these two become a Two diodes across these switches. Voila! Now, this same converter, which is a from left to right step down converter, as we showed it in detail, and eventually I showed you the Chukpak 2 version, the same converter, just replacing transistor diode on the output with the proper transistor, and the two transistor input, the two diode, voila! We get a step up converter, one over one minus D from right to left, replacing of course here, this with the resistor. And what does it have? One transistor on a primary and two diodes, uh, not primary, on the input and two diodes on the output. Even simpler, one switching device uh, active and two diodes. And this becomes boost function. <laughs>